does it matter? The spell of success is grinding away, so no matter what you do, your love with Fox will be destroyed. Uh, not a chance. Our love is too strong. And you know what? If your ratty old spell worked, it would have split us up by now. Let me see now. You're here with your daughter playing when you should be at work. And Fox went to the office bright and early to climb the ladder of success. My spell works in a very subtle way, Kay. Maybe you think it's hunky-dory now, but that doesn't mean that it's going to stay that way. The dark side is very powerful. And it almost always gets what it wants. We move up the delivery schedule by just three days. It decreases the construction costs in Singapore by 2%. Huh. You're brilliant, Valerie. It's like you're inside my head. No, I'm just very well trained. I know how an office should run. And I know what impresses your grandfather. Yeah. You really have executive potential. I'm not sure Kay know how to do this. I guess her inexperience kind of shows sometimes, huh? And when I'm done with her, Kay will be out on her derriere filing for unemployment and Fox will be mine. Hi, Tabitha. I hope you don't mind my just dropping by. Oh, not at all. <laughs> Lately, my little home has become a regular Grand Central Station. <laughs> you want some coffee? Uh, sure, thanks. So, why aren't you at work? Oh, well, my, uh, gorgeous, sexy boss told me that I could take part of the morning off to spend it with Maria. Oh, isn't he the best? Yeah, well, it isn't your usual employer-employee relationship. Yeah, well, Fox and I have an amazing relationship. It gets better and better every day. I told her she should enjoy it while she can, Simone. Hmm, once Fox hits the big time at work, she may never see him again. Tabitha? Oh, sorry. Did I say something wrong? No. Well, blame it on those women's magazines that I read while standing in line at the checkout. <laughs> oh, yes, it seems that so many relationships fall apart when one partner becomes more successful than the other. Now, girl meets boy. Girl and boy fall in love. Boy becomes obsessed with work. And girl grows old, weeping alone over the cold ashes of her dead, dead love. Well, luckily, I work with Fox, so that's never going to happen. So the new job is going well. It's perfect. Perfect? What about the, the teensy-weensy little worm in your apple you told me about? A worm? Yeah. A computer worm, a virus. It got into the files of this project I'm working on with Fox and somehow spread throughout the worldwide crane network. <laughs> Fox I'm said it was sorry. an absolute disaster. All right, Tabitha. Okay. Yes, yes, it was a huge problem. And Fox thought it was my fault, but I swear I didn't mess up. I think I was sabotaged. Well, that sounds nasty. Do you know who did it? No. At first, I thought it was Ivy, because at the time, she was against me being with Fox. And now she isn't? Well, that's what she says. And anyway, she's not a computer whiz. She wouldn't know the first thing about how to infect the files with a virus. So if she didn't do it, then who did? I'm not sure. It's true Kay has no experience with office work, Fox, but cut her some slack. You promoted her straight from the packing line at the cannery to the executive suite. you got to give her some time. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that's one thing we don't have here is time. Well, don't be too hard on her. She's a good little worker. And now that you've made her support systems manager, I'm sure that'll bolster her confidence. Yeah, I guess. She tries so hard. You should be proud of her. Oh, I am. I, I am proud of her. Really. Uh, yeah, it's kind of worried. I'm, I'm wondering if she's still upset at me for reducing her work responsibilities, you know? I'm sure she understands why you had to do that. Come on, Fox. Kay loves you. She wants what's best for you. And after that awful scrub with the computer virus, well... Enough said. You're lucky Alistair didn't fire you. And Kay knows that, too. She knows you have to protect your career, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, she was kind of looking forward to having a career here as well, you know. And she will. As far as you downgrading her responsibilities, well... You had no choice. 
If something else happens, it won't only be bad for Kay and her future here, it'll be bad for you too. Shake her confidence. I'm positive Kay understands that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're right. You know, when you put it that way, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Kay will understand. Sure. What Kay doesn't understand is that I'm going to move her out of this office and out of your life for good. <laughs> <laughs>